Hey guys, what's up? It's me, San Francisco. So for today's video, it's going to be another very fair product review. This time, it's not going to be a lip tint review. I'll be featuring their latest bullet lipstick called Ink Intense Stick. We have something like this. This is my first time trying out a bullet lipstick from the brand, so I'm really happy and excited. So hopefully, I will not be disappointed with the collection. Anyway, there are like so many product releases from Peripera, so after this collection, I feel like I'm going to get the fall collection, which is the Acorn collection. Okay, so hindi ko na so if you're interested in this video, just keep on watching. So let's start. We have something like this for the packaging. Gosh, this packaging, super love the vibe. Anything that's like nude with a hint of pink, count me in. Okay, so super love the concept. I have nothing bad to say about the product. This product looks very petite. It's not thick and not bulky. I love that it is soft matte and it feels very luxurious. In addition to that, this packaging is not very basic and plain because once you open the packaging or the product, we have something like this. Tingnan naman yung kanyang vibes. I really love the metallic finish over here. And then, ang na-appreciate ko pa dito is that hindi nakaganito agad yung lipstick. So, medyo mas safe yung ganyang effect sa isang lipstick. There's some lipstick kasi na pag binuksan ninyo, ganito na yung appearance ng product. So, tendency is medyo mas messy yung ganitong klaseng bullet lipstick. Pero ito, hindi siya ganun. Talagang sagot sa ilalim yung kanyang product. So, mas malinis and hindi messy ganun. This lipstick glides on really smooth, the pigment is beautiful, and you can definitely see the moisture on the product. It's not that thick, and the product is blendable. For the shade selection, we have five shades here. I caught three shades, two warm tone shades, and one cool tone shades. Two warm tone shades, those are 07 and 08. For the cool tone shade, I have the shade number 10. Nagagandahan ako sa colors kasi I noticed na meron tayong warm tone na colors and cool tone na colors dito. So, hindi lang siya puro warm tone na colors or puro cool tone na colors. And aside from that, yung mga colors dito is unique. Meron dito mga shades na hindi talaga perfect for everyday and meron namang shade dito na perfect for everyday. Anyway, let's start with the scent. Okay, so for the scent, I actually like it. It smells really good. This product smells like vanilla cupcake. I super love the scent. When it comes to scent, very very never disappoints talaga. Okay, I feel like yung pinaka hindi ko talaga na gusto na scent from Peri Peri is the Peaches collection. It smells bad. I don't like that scent. I'm gonna start first with the darkest shade that I got from the collection. This is the shade number 10. This product is really creamy, easy to apply, and I notice with the coverage, it is buildable. So once you're able to achieve like your desired pigment coverage or desired shade coverage for this product, you are going to love the finish. You want to know why? Because for example, this is a light cool tone shade, and usually shades like this, they tend to look a bit patchy, not blended in person. But for the formula and finish of this one, it's not doing that. It's not patchy, really comfortable in the lips. This shade right here reminds me so much of the collab from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop, the shade 0, and the Ofer Cosmetics collaboration with Glamour Box Philippines in the shade Manila. Parang isang family lang sila nito, parang ito yung nanay, okay? Yung tatay is D.0 and yung anak is yung Ofra Manila. Kasi ito light grayish yung color niya. For the point zero, medyo deep yung pagka-gray niya. And then for Ofra Manila, medyo meron lang siyang pinkish tone. This is not an everyday shade, but I feel like this shade is really unique. For special occasions, you guys are going to appreciate this shade, this beautiful cotone shade. Ayan, malapit na yung Halloween. I feel like magusto niyo yung vibes na to. Surprisingly, this product has a stain, a very natural stain. It's not intense and it's not hard to remove. I really love this thing. I 
I noticed with the finish and formula of this product that it is very blendable. It doesn't set really fast, so that's a plus point. With this kind of formula and finish, you can definitely achieve a graded lips. This shirt here is the most saturated one that I have in the collection. This is in the shade 08 called the Odd Rose. Now this shade here, I feel like it's a beautiful warm color that complements my skin tone. And what I like about this color is that it's a very beautiful MLBB shade. Nagustuhan ko tong color niya to, hindi dahil MLBB lang yung kanyang vibes. Ito kasi yung color na warm rose yung color niya, pero I can see dun sa tone na merong pagka-gray yung color niya. Medyo weird siyang describe pero in person makikita niyo talaga yung color niya, unique siya for me. Something like this for the lighter shade. I honestly like the shade. It's a beautiful, warm, peachy pink color for my skin tone. This shade really works. It's not the best for me when it comes to nude, but I feel like I'm going to use this shade as like a beautiful base color for green lips. Sana hindi naging ganun kapachi yung finish nito. Magandang i-elevate yung shade nito using a deep lip liner. I feel like ang ganda na finish and color na yun for medium skin. Dito siyang i-partner sa makeup na ganito or sa cool tone na makeup. Grabe, nangyayimagine ko na parang ang ganda ng makeup look na ma-achieve natin. Kaya lang medyo feel ng konti itong shade. I may not be able to wear the shade alone, but this is very workable. Look at this lip combo. Gradient lips, super love the effect and finish. It complements my eye makeup. On to my final thoughts. Okay, so this product is worth buying. You guys saw the performance a while ago. I was really impressed with the formula and finish of this product. Okay, so this product is not 100% matte. Really comfortable on the lips. Aside from that, this product is very affordable. It's not expensive at all. So, dito pala may recommend ko na sa inyo itong product na to. Very Fair is really killing it when it comes to like shade selection because for this collection, I feel like the collection is unique, like the colors. It's because Peri Peri is always like known for releasing neon colors, bright colors, and bold colors. But for this collection, it's different. Hopefully in the future, maka release pa sila namang ganitong klaseng unique na shades. Kasi hindi lang quality ngayon yung nagugusto nila, pati na yung mga colors. Kasi unique na sila. The only downside dito sa product nito is that it is not kiss proof. It will transfer on your mask. Kung nakamask man kayo, medyo messy siya. So kung hindi kayo fan ng ganun, medyo hindi ko ito may recommend sa inyo. Honestly, hindi naman ako ganun ka-bothered sa ganun klaseng ganap sa isang lipstick. Kahit medyo messy siya sa mask, okay lang yun sa akin. Wala din akong problema kung mag apply ako na mag apply Ang importante talaga sa akin is magmukha dapat ako maayos lagi, okay? So, kahit mag apply ako na mag apply ng ilang beses, basta ma-achieve ko yung gusto kong makeup look, pasada sa akin. Bago ko i-end yung video, gusto ko lang i-share ito sa inyo na yung month na to medyo maganda sa akin. Ewan ko, medyo positive yung mga nangyayari sa akin ngayon. Super thankful ako and sana magpatuloy pa to in the future, okay? Lalo ako na inspire na mag-work, gumawa pa ng videos, so abangan niyo pa yung mga videos ko in the future. Hindi ako titigil, sana hindi din kayo magsawa. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this makeup video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. See you again next time. Bye!